What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to do a pseudo unboxing slash first impressions of the one ounce US gold Buffalo gold coin. So um, I got this from JM Bullion, I ordered it. Uh, I've actually already opened this up. Uh, while I was opening it up, I ended up realizing like, hey, like I, I think this would actually be pretty interesting for YouTube. I know that I did a little bit of YouTube research leading into this. So just quickly whipped out my camera and was like, let me just quickly record a video and give you some, some first impressions. Um, you know, semi first impression. So it came in multiple boxes. I ordered this from Jamie Bullion. I told you I've already sort of cut this thing up. It kind of comes already packaged like this. Uh, it does come in this particular case from JM. Um, hey, JM, if you're, if you're watching, you know, hey, this is a, you know, nearly $2,000 coin. Uh, you, you can probably splurge on, on a, an actual case for this. It's going to cost you 25 cents to a dollar. It doesn't hurt. But I just wanted to give you guys some first impressions on this US gold coin. It's something that I've always wanted. Um, I've ordered the one tenth ounce coins and they were just way too small. They were smaller than a penny. And I'm like, man, that doesn't feel, that doesn't feel like I'm holding gold at all. And so I was like, you know what? Let's just splurge and let's get it. And so I was looking at this, I was looking at the US Gold Eagle. I was looking at the Canada Maple Leaf and I ultimately decided on the, the Buffalo. And the reason being is like, number one, the design is beautiful. I mean, you could just take a look at that. You could look at the reliefs on that. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. You could take a look at the Buffalo on the back. Super, super beautiful. What's also interesting is just how heavy this, this coin feels. I mean, this is, this is a, a weighty coin. Um, I've heard the liquidation on this one is, is super easy. Um, you know, the fact that it's US gold tender, it's actually worth $50. You can actually see, I don't know if you can take a look down. Is it here or is it on the back? Here we go. It's on the back. So you could take a look right underneath the Buffalo. You could see where it says $50. This is US tender. Um, and so it's, it's beautiful. Uh, it's, it's got a great color. I think like the design as well as the color, it's like the perfect middle ground. If you're comparing this between the maple leaf, uh, the U S uh, the, the Canada maple leaf or the U S Eagle, this has got like the perfect middle ground color between like the coppery, um, coins or the two gold coins. This is just like the perfect amount of gold. And so I think it's beautiful. It's, it's weighty. It's a great way to store, you know, sort of diversify your personal finance portfolio. Um, I think like it should be anywhere from one to 5% of your overall net worth, just as a hedge against, you know, anything, you know, just to head, give you a little bit more stability. Uh, and, you know, you could definitely go with a gold ETF, but to me, I'm like, man, for something fun like this, like gold itself, why not end up actually holding physical gold? It's something fun. It allows you to look at it and appreciate it. And uh, yeah, if you, to me, I think it's just a, it's a, it's a fun way to, to, to store value and to hold on to something. So what I, what I wanted to do, and the reason I also whipped out the camera was like, I was a little bit disappointed, um, in like just the carrying case. I was like, man, like this is, you know, I just, I just spent, you know, right. You know, almost $2,000. I think it was like $1,900 for this particular coin, which is a lot, you know, but you know, you could always sell it in the future. Um, I know that prices are high right now, just given that this is currently uh, Corona time, uh, when I'm recording this video. So gold is obviously always increases during times of uncertainty. Um, so I was like, you know what, this is an opportunity for me to just diversify the cash holdings that I have right now. And so, you know, this, this case was a little, little broken. So what I'm going to be doing, and I ordered this off of Amazon is this, uh, this, these coin caselets. And what's interesting is it comes with these foam packets in the back and you can see like there's already some relief cutouts. And so you can kind of, you, you'll be able to watch me go through, you know, stumbling through basically putting this in a case that I think is going to be a lot better for the longevity of this coin. So, um, you're going to see me go through the first one. This is a, you know, there's a, there's a, oh, this is interesting. It actually comes with not just these individual cases, but it comes with the cases inside the cases. So that's interesting. I like that. I appreciate that. So let's pop this open. Let's grab one of these coins. And what I'm interested in is does this require, is this in the center or is this on the outside? We'll see. We'll find out right now. So this is pretty interesting. I can't really tell how this is. Is this a twist? How does this work? It looks like there's a little thumb relief here. Here we go. Let's put this on the table. Let's see if we can make that happen. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So what I'm interested in is 
does this require, yeah, I think this is just around it. So it's not a full backing. So let's pull out one of these. Let's pop that in. And I'm wondering if you put this here, would that be enough or would you need to? Yeah, it looks like you'd probably want to cut that out. And so if I'm looking into that, it looks like it would require just the two outer rings. Yes. So I'm just going to pull out everything except for the two outer rings. No, no, is it stuck? Let's see if I can just get this to pull out directly. Let's start with the center. That's interesting. So let's do this one at a time so that I don't. So now we've done everything except for the, let's see if this works. That way it feels a little more secure. No, it won't. This is actually a really cool product. I'll put a link to this in the description so you guys can scoop this up if you've got some gold. I've order, also ordered some silver. I've ordered, I've ordered from Jam Bullion and I've also ordered from APMEX. Oh, man, that's, that's disappointing. It's a little bit of extra gap there. Should have probably kept this, this ring on it. Let's see how that works if I was able to fit that in. Should I try another one? Maybe I'll try another one. You know what? Let's get this right. Let's try. Let's try another one and see if we can just get this right. I mean, this is my most expensive coin. Might as well have it sitting properly. So this is three versus the two. Let's see if we can get this in there. Hmm. It's really not healing it. You would think that they would have built this for the most common coin sizes. That's the one thing that's probably disappointing about this. Yep, doesn't look like it's going to work. All right, I guess we're going to stick to two. So there's still a little bit, a little bit of a shake. Not terrible, but what I like about this is like you can still observe both sides of the coin without without touching it. And I have to do a little bit of research. Am I, am I supposed to touch the gold coins with my fingers? Do I have to clean them after I touch them? So that's beautiful. I mean, you can just see. I don't like that there's a little bit of a rattle there. That's a little annoying, but hey, what can you do? So Jam Bullion, if you're, uh, if you're listening, it would have been nice to have this custom built for the gold coin. That would have been sweet, but hey, we'll take it. So that's pretty sweet. So I'm going to do this with a couple other silver coins that I also ordered and, uh, and we'll, we'll take it from there. So I hope this video is helpful. Um, yeah, if you, if you're interested, you know, take a look at JM Bullion, take a look at APMEX. I've ordered from both of them. They're both super reputable. Um, I've really, really enjoyed ordering for both of them. So, uh, take a look at that. I think it's definitely worth having a little bit of gold in your portfolio. Why not have it as physical gold? Cause it, you know, let's be real. It's a lot more fun. So hopefully, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, take care everybody.